This is BBC World News, I'm Owen Zone and here are our top stories. A plush trap chaser was found to be destroyed on train tracks. It was described to have human eyes and teeth, but I personally think that the only witness Grimm was on crack. Let's just hope Grimm reaps the consequences. In other news, a dead girl was found in a construction site air vent at 1.35am, not clickbait, and the imposter seems to have gotten away with it. Gone wrong. Uh, section C. For you gamers out there, the next FNAF virtual reality instalment Springtrap's Revenge has been delayed by 9 months. This is due to the water breaking, through the pipes, but you never really know with that company. It feels like it's been a maternity since we've gotten news from them, but there's always, somehow, womb for discussion. And finally, a group of teenagers have been charged guilty for the murder of Kimberly Bergstrom. Her body was found mauled in one of the boys' bathrooms, who was in contact with an unknown suspect named Fetch. Whenever I'm at home, I'm in contact with someone called Lie Down and someone called Roll Over. I'm also in contact with someone called Poor. Now onto a new story like no other. The Stitch Wraith is an urban legend, except it's not a legend, because it's true. There have been multiple sightings of a cloaked figure with a large red grin who has been murdering people and making them bleed from their eyes. Flat earthers and those who believe the human population is being replaced by androids now seem to have a little more credibility. This is what the Stitch Wraith has been described to look like. If you see a figure like this lurking around the garbage cans, my suggestion, run. The detectives are on the case and I'm sure they'll get it sorted in absolutely no time with nothing going wrong. Now we're going to take an ad break before we go to oxygen on the weather. I'll see you on the flip side. Have you recently lost a pet? Are you grieving and sad and absolutely hopeless? Introducing the Fazbear Friendly Face Service. We take a face and put it in another place. Just pay for our service, send us a DNA sample, and in two weeks, your pet will come back to life. Why fight Fazbear's Fright when Freddy Fazbear's friendly faces face forward for friendly futures? Find frogs, foxes, pheasants, ferrets, falcons, fish, flamingos for $45.55. Follow our Facebook at Freddy Fazbear's Friendly Faces for further facts and figures. Batteries not included. Hello everyone, my name is Oxygen and this is the Fazbear Forecast! Starting off, there's going to be a lot of hurricanes in Utah. Uh, oh, my apologies, there's going to be a lot of rain and hurricanes in Utah. Um, I have an official word from some bio... bio biologists that I need to read out. Apparently, there are reports of rainwater with bunny ears in the nearby area but it isn't a huge issue it's not a huge concern it's totally drinkable um oh, this just thinking about that makes me thirsty i'm gonna hmm. ah. do you ever do the thing where you like look up and then you open wide and then you catch all the raindrops. <coughs> ah, that was very manly. Okay, my stomach has gone a little funny. Elsewhere, if you've got some big trees near your house, be prepared for a tornado of leaves because we have some winds reaching up to... <coughs> Breaking news! Scientists have just discovered that our water is infected with a strange new microorganism. Do not drink the water. This is not another advertisement for Soda Roni. Seriously, do not drink the water. Okay, now for our last segment today, we are being joined by Dr. Ozone Zone to talk about his new book, Eat Your Reg. Dr. Ozone Zone, welcome. So, could you tell us what exactly your new book is about? Well, the title is a pun because you have to eat your vegetables, but instead of veg, it's REG. Now, an REG is a random event generator, and it is a machine that randomly produces a set of ones and zeros. Like, for example, what happens to someone who comes in first place? One. They won. And how many bonuses does Orin Zon get? Zero. 
Okay, we get it, and if you mind not cursing on live television, we would really appreciate that. Now, how is this sort of technology useful to us in the real world? Well, these numbers are binary because it is in base 2. The other thing that is in base 2 is the response is yes and no. So we can assign a no to a 0 and a yes to a 1. Now, from that we can create computers. So where does the vegetable part of your book's title come in then? Well, in 1966, a scientist named Cleve Baxter attached a polygraph to a plant and found that it had real emotions and it was reading his mind. Now, my book discusses the details of his research and how theoretically plants are influenced by us and have influence on what we do. Also, I have a joke. What do you call a large plant populated space with absolutely no use? Uh, a lame forest? A zero point field! I don't get it. But thank you, Dr. Ozone Zone, for joining us today and teaching us about how plants do magic tricks instead of teaching us how to protect ourselves from H2O. Um, we will be back tomorrow for more news, but until then, I've been Owen Zone. And goodbye.